Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm giving you a quick overview of my brand new NAS system in the Jonesbow N2 case. I originally recorded the entire build process, but unfortunately that footage was corrupted. So in this video I'll walk you through the highlights, show you the hardware layout and then demonstrate how to install HexOS for an easy NAS management. Behind this front panel is also an Allen key or an X key, which you use to open the top cover of the case. Around the back, there's a single fan secured by four thumb screws. When you remove those, you can access the hard drive backplane. It has five SATA data connectors and two Molex connectors for power. The fan's power cable is also accessible in this compartment. Underneath the case, you'll find an anti-slip rubber mat. This will help you keep the chassis stable on your desk. I'm using an SFX power supply that provides at least 300 watts. Be sure your power supply has at least two Molex connectors to power the backplane and at least one SATA power connector for any additional drive. This ensures you've got enough juice for all your components. Once you remove the top cover using those four screws, you'll see the second compartment that holds the motherboard. I'm running an industrial board with an Intel N100 CPU and 32GB of DDR5 RAM. It has 6 SATA ports, so there is plenty of connectivity for all my drives. For the operating system, I've added a 250GB SATA SSD in the top compartment. Perfect for XOS. I also installed 2TB NVMe drives on the motherboard for an extra 4TB of fast raw storage on the I.O. side. The board features two 2.5 gigabyte uh, Ethernet ports and one 10 gigabyte Ethernet port, which is fantastic for high speed networking. I have used a special braided slim SATA cable that bundles six SATA cables in one sheet. Each cable is numbered, making it easier to connect and manage everything neatly. Finally, I show you how to attach the rubber straps onto each hard drive. These straps help you pull the drives out of the hot swap cage easily. With that, the hardware setup is done. Sliding in the five hard drives is straightforward. They click into place and we're all set for our software installation. HexOS is a new platform that simplifies TrueNAS management. I downloaded the HexOS ISO from their website and flashed it into a USB drive using Balena Etcher. Once plugged into the system, I chose the 250GB SSD as my OS drive during the install. Important note, you can't use the same drive for your storage pool. Because my capture card wasn't working, I'm demonstrating this installation in a virtual machine. In that VM, I have a small 64GB OS disk and four 300GB data disks. The process is identical on the physical NAS. You boot from the USB and enter the XOS console setup. Select option 1 to install HexOS. Pick the drive you want HexOS on. Ensure it's not one of your big data drives. Set a password for the default TrueNAS underscore admin user. After formatting and installing, reboot into HexOS. To configure HexOS, navigate to tech.hexos.com and sign in with the username and password you created. Make sure your new NAS is on the same network. You'll see a prompt to claim your NAS. Once you do, HexOS automatically detects all your drives. In my setup, it found all five 10 terabyte hard drives, tagged as slow storage, and the two 2 terabyte NVMe SSDs marked as fast storage. It automatically created a RAID 5 like configuration on the hard drives, which yields around 40 terabyte of usable space. The NVMe's are set up in a mirrored configuration, giving 2 terabyte of fault tolerant fast storage. Name your server, I'm calling mine MediaNAS. Confirm the drives will be wiped and let HexOS create the pools and enable Docker. Once finished, you will land on the main dashboard. Here you can see the system health like CPU, memory and many more. And manage your search, folders and apps. In the folders tab you can create the local accounts, folders and set permissions. HexOS can also auto create some folders when installing apps. Currently. The beta version supports installing Plex and image directly from the HexOS interface, while advanced users can still access the TrueNAS environment to add more containers. To install Plex, go to Apps and click on Plex. Follow the prompts and once installed, launch Plex from HexOS. Notice how it automatically created folders for movies, TV shows, 
music, and many more. In the Plex Setup Wizard, pick your server name, choose your media libraries, and select your corresponding folders. If you have a Plex Pass, you can enable GPU pass-through for hardware transcoding. Go to Apps, pick Plex, and then click Settings. This takes you into the underlying TrueNAS interface. Enter your Plex Claim token from plex.tv slash claim and enable the pass-through available GPU option, which will tap into the Intel M100i GPU. Image is a self-hosted photo solution, similar to Google Photos but fully local. In Apps, choose Image and install it. Launch Image to set up your admin account. Now you can start uploading all your pet photos. Everything will stay on your NAS. That's it for our quick overview of the Jonesbo N2 Build and XOS installation. From the 50TB hot swap setup to the simple software deployment, I hope this walkthrough helps you build your own system. Don't forget, if you want more apps, you can install them via the TrueNAS Discover Apps feature under the hood. And if you found this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more home lab and NAS content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.